Alrighty guys, welcome back to Star Wars Review. Today I'm going to be uh, reviewing Star Wars Rebels, Servants of the Empire, Rebel in the Ranks, which was uh, written by Jason Fry and was released on March 3rd, 2015, which is the uh, second novel in the uh, Se or Servants of the Empire series, which followed the character uh, Zaire Leonis, who appeared in a uh, few episodes from uh, Season 1 of Rebels, which this uh, novel takes place around the events of... Uh, the episode he's mainly featured in, episode 6, Breaking Ranks, and we see the events of that episode get adapted in the uh, later parts of uh, this novel, and because of that, I think it kind of dragged the novel down for me. I enjoyed the first one, uh, the first novel in the uh, series, but obviously I uh, watched uh, the episode Breaking Ranks before reading this novel, and I've, I watched it, you know, obviously several years ago also, but uh you know, this is my first time reading these novels. So, you know, I was kind of able to kind of figure out where everything was going because of watching uh, that episode already. Because, you know, kind of the main plot point of uh, these novels so far has been Zaire looking for his uh, sister, Dahara. And, you know, at the end of the episode, Breaking Ranks, we see Zaire speak with the Grand Inquisitor. And because in that episode, we see Ezra acting as a cadet named Dev Morgan who gets the attention of uh, the Imperials and the Grand Inquisitor, thinking he's Force-sensitive. So I assume that's what just happened with uh, Dahara and whatnot. And so it's just kind of waiting to get to the point of the events of the episode Breaking Ranks to kind of see if I was right, which I was. And the events of the episode Breaking Ranks doesn't happen until the final uh, third part of uh, this novel. And I just wasn't as into... Uh, the first two parts mainly just like I said I kind of knew where everything was going because of the events of the episode and knowing what happens in that episode so it kind of dragged down my enjoyment of uh this episode but uh obviously the events of the episode are a little bit more extended and it's obviously more from the point of view of uh Zaire kind of we see what's going through his head and whatnot there's some added on stuff from some of the scenes uh, from the episode, but relate more to the uh, story being told in the uh, novel instead of, you know, the episode and whatnot, which I, you know, enjoy that. But uh, like I said, I just knowing what happens in the episodes, it kind of dragged down the first two parts for me, which, you know, throughout the entirety of the novel kind of switches from the point of views of Zare and his uh girlfriend uh mary spanjaff which um the stuff was there i just you know we mainly just see him as a uh, imperial cadet waiting for an opportunity to find out more info on his sister which i like you know getting to see more of the other cadets uh seen in the episode but everything with zare was mainly just him doing cadet stuff and i don't know i just wasn't super into it i still liked it but and you know there wasn't anything i you know disliked about uh those moments but i just wasn't su super duper into it i didn't really feel like i got any big uh revelations or anything there but uh the stuff with uh mary i i enjoyed um throughout the novel we see her splicing into the uh imperial data network and i enjoyed all the uh drama there of her trying not to get caught and you know her parents are like data security people and in the end they're kind of investigating the data breaches uh, Mary has done. So I liked all that and I'm definitely interested to see where all that goes. But I'd say there's probably more stuff with uh, Zare being a uh, cadet than there was with Mary. Which I kind of wish there was a little more there with her. So yeah, I be, maybe it's because I was just more interested in it and whatnot. So yeah, you know, all in all. I'd say I wasn't super into this one. I, you know, enjoyed the first novel a good bit. But this one just was maybe a little too connected to the episode Breaking Ranks. So it just didn't really feel like any crazy big uh, revelations which I couldn't figure out by just watching the episode. Obviously there's, you know, stuff. What is said in this novel wasn't said in the episode. But it was easy to kind of piece that together by watching the episode and then... I kind of already knowing the events of uh, the last novel and then kind of starting to read this one. I kind of was just able to kind of figure out where it was going. 
a little too easily. But obviously this novel isn't an adult novel. It is a uh, middle grade novel made for younger kids. So that makes sense. But I am very excited to get into the uh, final two novels. Because I don't really know where those are going. And uh, Zare only appears in one up ep- one other episode of the entire series. But in season one. But very briefly. So I'm excited to see where his story goes. And all that in the uh, final two novels. But uh. My grade for Rebel in the Ranks, I'm going to say a C plus. So yeah, you know, I didn't think it was bad. You know, I, I thought it was a well written enough novel for a middle grade novel. Just was a little too connected to the, uh, you know, actual episode from Rebels. So yeah, but that's going to be for this one. Uh, next, I'll eventually review the uh, third and fourth novels in the uh, series. But in the meantime, check out my review on the uh, first novel and all my other Rebels reviews. But I've been Sarzy and I'll catch you guys in the uh, next one.